From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A quick word of advice, though, before the show begins, your chances of waking up and smelling the coffee are much better if the cat's litter box is not in your bedroom. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook Could It Be True? Volume 1 – Urban Legends by Cindy Parmenter. Hear a free sample of this creepy and true audiobook at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. A new book about Saddam Hussein's last days in captivity reveals he was a big fan of the music of Mary J. Blige. Wow, that, that's got to make Mary J. feel all kinds of creepy. A new study says pesticides on food may cause damage to the brain. So it took a study to figure that out? What, what was, was there ever a point where somebody thought, oh, uh, it'll kill bugs, but we'll be fine? There's a dirty little secret about hanging out at the International Space Station that NASA is finally talking about. It seems the cost of transporting water up there is so cost prohibitive, about $48,000 per liter, that NASA engineers had to find cheaper ways of taking H2O into space. Now, fortunately for science, somebody figured out how to do it. Unfortunately for the astronauts, it's turning their own pee into drinking water. Now, I know it's a survival thing, but I would be demanding a lot of Kool-Aid mix to mask the reality of that. A new Dr. Seuss museum has opened in Springfield, Massachusetts. Although I think they made a mistake with the green eggs and ham vending machine. Wonder Woman made $223 million around the globe over the weekend. Stateside, it was the biggest opening for a female director ever, and the only film in the new DC movie universe worth spending a buck to see. In Tennessee, 19-year-old Lucinda Luna is dead after she was accidentally shot by her boyfriend with a gun her father gave him as a graduation gift. It seems the boyfriend, 18-year-old Brennan Fields, had taken apart the pistol and put it back together without realizing there was still a live round in the chamber. Fields was reportedly playing with the gun when it fired and the bullet struck Luna in the stomach while she was lying on a couch across the room from him. Luna died early the following day at an area hospital. Okay, now what kind of father gives his daughter's boyfriend a gun as a graduation gift? Especially if that boyfriend doesn't know any better than to play with a gun, loaded or not. Wouldn't a more appropriate graduation gift be, oh, I don't know, a prepaid gift card to Walmart or Applebee's? I mean, if the kid likes guns, buy him the latest Grand Theft Auto. You don't buy the kid your daughter is dating a gun. A rumor says Kraft Heinz is planning on buying Colgate. Well, that's going to make for some disgusting-tasting toothpaste. Or will it be toothpaste-flavored ketchup? Either way, ugh. The first Nutella Cafe opened its doors this week in Chicago. Chicago knows that it can buy Nutella in stores, but it's so used to spending money it doesn't have, it's just habit now. A lawyer in Mexico is planning to launch a Trump brand of toilet paper with 30% of the profits going towards financing programs that support migrants and Mexicans deported from the U.S. You know, if that stuff's available here in the United States, it is going to fly off the shelves. The Marler House mobile app's now available, and it's free. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Watch Marler House YouTube videos. Check out the t-shirts, mugs, audiobooks, and other stuff in the Marler House store. See what's in my blog and more, all in one app. And it's free for iOS and Android users. Download it now by clicking the mobile app tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'm going to leave you with this thought. Scientists report that nothing in the known universe travels faster than a bad check. I'll see you next time, weirdos.